Hey friends, welcome to Origami Tree. My name is Jenny and today I'm going to show you how to make an Origami Tiger bookmark. Now this is a special two-part tutorial. So in the first part, I'll be showing you how to make this bookmark right over here. And in the second part, it is actually going to be taught by Bunny Claire. And she is a YouTuber as well and she made these really adorable tiger erasers. They're so, so cute. So be sure to check out her video after you watch this one. And also leave a comment below letting me know what tutorial you'd like to see next. And let's get started. To make the tiger bookmark, you're going to need one square sheet of paper and also some kind of writing utensil to draw in the features of the tiger. So first you're going to take the square sheet of paper and you're going to have the color side facing out and you're going to fold it in half diagonally so that it creates a triangle shape. Once you've done that, you're going to open it up take notice of this crease over here and align this bottom side with that diagonal crease. So you're just going to fold it diagonally along that crease, flatten to create this triangle over here. Next you just want to repeat the same thing on the other side. Fold it over towards that crease and crease it in. Then you want to unfold the two flaps that you just created and you want to repeat the same thing on this end. So you're going to align this side with that crease. And then do the same thing on this side. Then you're going to take notice of this crease over here and this crease over here. And what you want to do is you want to lift up this flap, so the right side, and you want to fold it upwards along that crease that I just highlighted. So the side should look like that. And once you have that, you're just going to flatten it. You're going to push inwards toward the center and flatten with your right hand. So now the top should look like this. After that, you want to repeat the same thing on the left side. So you're going to lift this flap up, fold it along the crease that I just drew. So crease it up like this. And then you're going to flatten with your left hand. So you're going to push towards the center and just let it flatten. Crease that in. So now the front should look like this and the top should look like this. Next, you want to flip the entire thing around. And then you're going to place it flat on the surface like this. And then you're going to take this right side and also this left side and push it towards the center very carefully, like that. And as you're doing that, this part in the center is going to be jutting out, so you're just going to want to flatten it a little bit. And here's how it looks like from the side. After that, you're going to fold this part to the left side, crease it in, and then fold it to the right and crease it in. Then you want to fold it back up to the top like this so that it's perpendicular. So now I'm just going to rotate it a little bit so that it's easier to see on camera. And what you want to do is you want to stick your finger into this opening right over here. So you just stick your finger into that opening and as you're doing that you want to push downwards with your right thumb. So you see how I'm pushing downwards? And as I am pushing downwards the top should look like this, like a little diamond shape. And once I have that diamond shape, I'm just going to flatten it with my right hand. And here's the bottom view. After that, you're going to take this flap over here and you're going to lift it up and pull it towards the right side. And then you're going to take this flap, lift it up, and pull it towards the left side. Then you're going to push up and down, just like this, and flatten. So what I've done here is I've highlighted the pre-existing crease on the left side and also the pre-existing crease on the right side. And what you want to do is you want to fold along one of the creases like this. And then you're going to stick your hand or finger into this opening and then flatten with your opposite hand. After that, you want to repeat the same thing on the left side. So I'm going to fold this over slightly. Stick my finger into this opening. and then flatten with my opposite hand. Next you want to take this flap and you want to align the tip with the bottom side of the tiger's face. So you're just going to fold it down and crease it in. 
Then you're going to reverse that fold. So you're going to unfold it. And then you're going to fold it in the opposite direction. So you're going to fold it back and in like that. So now the top should look like this. And you can see the little flap on the inside. And the side should look like that. Then you're just going to flatten everything. And then after that, you're going to take these white triangles up here. You're going to fold them over on the left and also on the right. Crease it in. And then you're going to take the flaps and you're going to tuck it underneath. So you're going to tuck it into the slot right over here. Flatten. And then repeat the same thing on the right side. Unfold this flap and then tuck it into the slot right in the back. And then flatten. Then you want to take these two ears and you're going to round it a little. So you're going to fold this back so that it's a little rounder. Repeat the same thing on this side. Unfold the two flaps that you just created. And then you're going to open it up from the side. So open up one of the ears. And then using the pre-existing creases, you're going to push downwards like this. And then flatten. Then you're just going to repeat the same thing on the right side. So you're going to open it up. Using the pre-existing creases, you're going to push downwards. And once you've done that, you're just going to flatten it. So the top looks like this. And after that, you're going to flatten everything. And then you're ready to decorate. And you're done. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos all year round. And also to check out Bunny Claire's adorable tiger erasers. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!